So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Sharknado. Okay, I'm listening. I completely understand. Thanks for your time. Wait, you're listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Tell me about this thing. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there's a water spout, and it lifts a bunch of sharks out of the ocean. Okay. And that forms this kind of, like, Sharknado. That's the name of the movie you just told me about. It is. Well, listen, I'm very interested. However, you should know that I have, you know, no money. Oh. Yep, practically none. Definitely not enough for a concept of this magnitude. Is that going to be a problem? Well, the concept does call for some pretty elaborate special effects, but yeah, no, I don't see that being a problem at all. Well, great. So what happens in this thing? Well, we're gonna meet this bad guy, right? And he's selling sharks to the shady businessman on a boat. Okay. And they're gonna have, like, this big negotiation. They're gonna have a shootout. Okay, pretty cool setup. And then they all get eaten by sharks. Oh, so those guys had nothing to do with the movie. Not even a little bit, no. Well, okay then. So then we're gonna meet the main character of the movie, this guy named Finn. All right, Finn, okay. His name is Finn. Yeah, yeah, okay, Finn, I got it. Uh-huh. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, Finn, that's what a shark has. It's like what a shark has. Wow, 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 So anyway, Finn is out surfing with his buddy Baz, and then a bunch of sharks show up, and they just start attacking people. Oh, no. Yeah, and these sharks are nuts. They take down one guy that's standing in ankle-deep water. That doesn't seem possible. I know, right? It's gonna be great. But, like, physically. Yeah, he takes him down physically. Never mind. So Finn, he starts yelling at everybody, you know, like, get out of the water. So he got out of the water? No, he's still in the water. He's just in there shouting at everybody. Very unsafe. And everybody on the beach, they're all freaking out and running in all directions. In all directions? Shouldn't they just run in one direction, like away from the water? Yeah, no, they're gonna run in all directions, including towards the water. Well, okay then. So anyway, then they go back to Finn's bar and they hang out with his employee Nova and this drunk guy George. Wait, so the sharks are gone? Yeah, they left. They're gone. Why? Unclear. They swam away, but then they look outside and there's a freaking hurricane coming. Oh, a hurricane showed up. It showed up, sir. A massive hurricane. Now, we're gonna be shooting this in Los Angeles where it's, you know, sunny all the time. Is that gonna be a problem? No, we'll just take some sunny shots and make them a tiny bit gray in post-production, I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Plus, we can cut away to stock footage sometimes. Oh, okay, great. So then a shark bursts through the window and this hurricane destroys the pier and all the characters, they have to run away from a Ferris wheel that's rolling. Can't they run a little to the side or something? Yeah, but they're not gonna because it's more exciting this way. You're not wrong. So then the characters decide that they're gonna go save Finn's ex-wife April and his daughter Claudia. Okay. And there are sharks everywhere. I mean, these things are flying all over the place and attacking people. Now, can sharks survive out of water for long periods? periods of time? That's a good question, sir, to which the answer is yes. What's your source on that? Based on this scientific paper I read. Oh, that's just a paper with the word science misspelled on it. Well, I don't know what to tell you, sir. It's peer-reviewed. Multiple scientists looked over that and approved of it? No, some drunk guy on the pier checked it out. He loved it. That is technically peer-reviewed. I think we're good. So while these characters are driving, they're gonna feel a shark under their car. If their tires are still touching the road, how can a shark fit under their car? Some kind of flat shark that exists. I don't know. Oh, pancake sharks are tight. So they're gonna go to take the on-ramp to the freeway, but a bunch of people are standing outside their cars. Why? Unclear, but they left a path, so the good guys, they just drive through. Oh, okay. But then these big waves start to flood the on-ramp, so they have to go back and help these people, and George, he helps a dog that's locked in a car. Someone not only got out of their car, but locked their dog inside of it? That's what we're going with. And then a big wave hits, and George gets hit with some sharks. Oh, no. And he's like, ouch, ouch, no, get off of me, and he dies. Oh, that is what somebody would say in that situation. So then they get to April's house, and it immediately floods and her boyfriend gets eaten by a shark. Oh my god. And so Baz looks at the bloody water and he's like, well, I guess it's that time of the month. That's the blood of a man that was alive just a few seconds ago. Yep, perfect opportunity for a period joke. So then they all run to the car and drive away before the house collapses with water. Wait, how is the house flooded but not the street? I don't know. Fair enough. And so then they decide they need to go save Finn's son, Matt, who's at flight school. Oh, there's a son now. There's a son now and on the way they save some school children and they fight some more sharks. It kind of feels like it's going to be tough to pull off shark fights of that nature with no budget. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll just have the actors, like, hit things off screen, and then we'll cut to some stock footage of sharks in the ocean. Would that work? Yeah, it's perfectly convincing. All right, if you say so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That thing is huge. Look, look how big it is. That was a close one. Well, watch out for that one. Yikes. Oh my God. Get out of here. Wow. That was super crazy. I can't believe those spiders attacked us. So anyway. Yeah. What else happens? Well, as they're driving their gas tank leaks, so obviously the car explodes. Wow. Well, what sparks the explosion? Just, you know, life. That'll get you. So they finally get to the flight school and they come up with this plan to make some bombs and drop them in the tornadoes. How do they know how to make bombs? I don't know. And how would dropping bombs help at all? Well, Baz explains that tornadoes form when hot air meets cold 
cold air, so if they drop bombs in there, you know, they might equalize the whole thing. Is that a thing? According to Scienc, it is. Well, then I'm convinced. So Matt and Nova, they head up in a helicopter and start bombing the crap out of Sharknadoes, and Nova falls out of the helicopter and gets snatched up by a shark. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. And then Finn, he's gonna dive inside a shark's mouth with a chainsaw. Why does he do that? Because. That works. And then he freaking guts himself out of the shark with a chainsaw, and he finds Nova in the belly, so he gets her out of there, too. Well, I mean, what are the odds that that was the same shark that Nova fell into? 50%. Either it was or it wasn't. Is that how math works? It is, actually. I read about it and everything. Oh, fantastic. I'm learning so much. So what do you think? Do you think it's too over the top or what? Well, I mean, it has tornadoes filled with sharks. How much more over the top can you get? Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the channel that you can check out. You can also leave me a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter. Spread it around. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye bye